Welcome to my first official video. My name is James C634. In this video, I'm going to be going over the 14 different breathing styles that exist in Demon Slayer. Now, I have a hat with sun breathing plus the six breathing styles that derive from it on pieces of paper. I'll pull one out, I'll explain the breathing style, maybe a bit about the Hashira, and then I will also explain if it has a branch off or not, like flame breathing, uh, so, uh, created love breathing, so yeah. So as you can see in the chart, we start with sun breathing and then it branches off into six different categories. So let's get started with this one. This is stone breathing. Okay, stone breathing has five forms and obviously we know that it is, Gyome is the pillar. He is probably the strongest Hashira. No, he is definitely the strongest Hashira. And how stone breathing works is using the earth around you to create massively strong forceful hits to take down demons. He does not, now Gyome, the stone Hashira, does not use the common Nichiren Katana that everybody else does. He actually uses the axe and mace combo. I'll put a picture up. Okay, so you can see in the image the mace is on the chain. He uses that combo and he has them on a long chain. This, these actually, the chain plus the mace and axe are actually all made out of the uh, Nichiren metal, the same metal that the katanas are made out of. And this is why it is still used the same as an as a katana. And this is actually, he's really strong and obviously because he's swinging these around and they are not light. It's quite a forceful breathing style, but that's, that's all we have for on stone breathing. Let's get on to the next one. Moon breathing. Okay, moon breathing was created by Yoruichi's twin brother. Yoruichi tried to teach his twin brother, uh, but he was unable to learn the breathing style. And this breathing style has the most amount of forms with 16 forms in the breathing style. Yes, that's right. Moon breathing has 16 forms, which is, I think, three more than any other of the breathing styles because sun breathing actually has 13. So this one has the most by three. It was, it's the, the only current user is Kokushiba the Demon, the upper moon one, if that's what, yes. And basically he, he used his blood. He learned the breathing style and then eventually he used his blood demon act to actually improve his breathing style along with his sword fighting. So what he does is he will add those crescent, crescent moons that basically act as extra blades coming out of his swing that are just as sharp and just as dangerous as a regular sword. So he's basically swinging with like a hundred swords in one. And this is how he's improved his breathing style. He has also improved his martial arts over hundreds of years, being upper moon one. Now moon breathing, just like stone breathing, has no branch off. The next breathing style is, we'll go with this one. Flame breathing, perfect. Flame breathing uh, has, technically it has three users. So it has Rengoku and his father who are technically former flame Hashiras. Oh, that was too soon. And um, there is a third user who is Mitsuri, the love Hashira. Now Mitsuri could use flame breathing, but she adapted it into love breathing. So flame breathing works off of a kendo style, kendo fighting style. As you can see in the image, Kendo starts as a high striking sword style. The only move in flame breathing that is not a single hit strike is I think it's fifth form, which is thunder, flaming tiger, flaming tiger. Yeah, flaming tiger is the only form in flame breathing that is not a single hit strike. I think it's best single hit strike is the second form. I will try and get a picture of it. Flame breathing second form fire wheel. Flame breathing has nine forms, in total nine forms. Now onto love breathing. Love breathing has six forms and flame, or as opposed to flame breathing, love breathing is actually quite a mid-range to long-range breathing style due to the whip like katana that Mitsuri uses. Now Mitsuri is actually the only person who can use love breathing. She learned flame breathing from Rengoku, but she noticed that it doesn't it didn't quite suit her, her, it didn't suit her. And basically her muscles are eight times denser than normal. So she can do 
eight times what somebody else her size should be able to do. So the fl love breathing, unlike flame breathing, utilizes her strength, her speed, her acrobatics and her agility. Uh, but the, obviously the only con for love breathing is it's mid to long range because of the whip and they're all whip like attacks. If you get in too close to her, it's going to be very difficult for her to fend off an attack. And it is, yeah, that's love breathing. Let's get on to the next one. Okay, perfect. Sun breathing. Sun breathing. I know you probably can't even see these anyway. Sun breathing has, technically it has 13 forms, with the 13th form actually being created after Yoruichi. He, Yoruichi had 12 forms in sun breathing. And then in the fight with Muzan, he ended up creating the 13th unnamed form. And what this was, was he was able to constantly use all 12 forms in, in constant circulation and attacking all of Muzan's vital organs at once, his seven hearts and five brains, in order to take down Muzan. This is also the, obviously if you don't know, sun breathing is the very first breathing form and a symbol that someone can use sun breathing is actually the black katana. So do you remember at the start of Demon Slayer we see Tanjiro get the Black Katana and it was seen as a bad omen. Now yes this is true because they, anyone with the Black Katana is actually hunted down by the demons and they're seen as a threat. This is actually due to the fact that Muzan and the rest of the demons know that if you have a Black Blade, well actually I don't know if the rest of the demons know but Muzan, his cells target people with Black Nitrine Swords because with a Black Nitrine Sword means you have the ability to learn Sun Breathing. So that's why when Tanjiro had the blade, everyone looked kind of down because they knew that he would become a target for the demons. Now, sun breathing, obviously, I'm not going to go into derivatives of sun breathing because everything is derived from sun breathing. So, let's move on to the next form. Water breathing. Okay, water breathing has uh, 11 uh, forms in it. With uh, We see 10 used by Tanjiro in Season 1. And... We see that Constant Flux, he actually does so well in the anime because of how timing and how well he knows when to use his attacks, basically. And it is Constant Flow being used against Rui that enabled him to get so close. Now, unfortunately, he wasn't able to finish the job. But then uh, Giyu Tomioka, who is the Water Hashira, came in with the 11th form, which is Dead Calm. And that sealed the deal. Yeah. There. Oh, it's also... Water breathing is also also the easiest form to learn. This is made pretty obvious by the fact of one, how many users it has, and two, the fact that Tanjiro Kamado, a guy who was never fought before, was able to pick it up and use it so easily. Okay, so I realized going going over it, uh, I actually forgot about the water style, water breathing style derivatives, so that's what we're gonna go over now. We'll start off with flower breathing with, uh, it has seven forms. It has two notable users, Shinobu's sister, which was the former flower Hashira, and there is Kane, I can't think, yeah, Kane. This breathing style has seven forms, with the no most notable form being the seventh form, which is Vermilion Eye. Now, Vermilion Eye basically helps you increase your speed and agility it, by using your blood vessels, pumping them up to like the max, but the only problem is this can cause you to go blind, Kind of like a, kind of like a Sharing Mangakyo Sharing Gun. Oh my god, it's like a Sharing Gun. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, so yeah, basically it works like a, it. It helps you increase your speed and agility, which is the whole idea of flower breathing. Flower breathing blends quite well together, attack after attack, and this is. It also helps you hide your full, like the actual killing blow, by a lot of fake out strikes. Now we'll. That's. Pretty much all there is to say about flower breathing. It's quite a graceful breathing. Uh, moving on to serpent breathing. Now, there's only one current user of serpent breathing, which is Obanai, uh, the snake Hashira. And the way serpent breathing works is that you, basically, the idea is you move like a snake. You move quite bindy and windy, and the attacks are quite the same. The attacks are meandering, I think is the word. It's you move the way a snake would, and that's why you'd, the demon can never tell where the attack's coming from because the attack could be coming from any direction, uh, just the way you're always moving, and the 
slithering path that a snake would take is how it's built. And it's actually said that when you are using serpent breathing, you imagine a snake accompanying you and guiding you on the attack. Now, like I said, Obanai is actually the only current user, as far as I'm aware. So we're going to move on to the last derivative of water breathing, which is actually insect breathing, which only has four forms, which is actually these, the, this breathing style has the least amount of forms and it has one current user, as we're aware, which is actually Shinobu. She, well, I'd say current user, she actually created the breathing style due to her lack of strength in, in her ability to cut off a demon's head. So insect breathing is, it creates the idea of quick movement with a stinging and using poison. That's why, have you ever noticed that Shinobu's blade doesn't have a blade? It's just the needle tip at the top, which is perfect for injecting the demons with venom as she is unable to actually cut a demon's head off. This, yeah, like I said, fourth four forms. Uh, we see, I think we see three of these forms during the spider forest arc and we see her come across the sister and you see that she's quite graceful, quite swift in movement, uh, but she stings like a bee, basically. That's the idea. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. There you go. That's, that's the best way to sum up insect breathing. So we have, how many styles we've we left? We've, I think we have two main ones. We have thunder and wind. So, well, I've already covered them because I forgot about them. We're redoing them. This is sound breathing. Okay. So I'm going to go over thunder breathing because that's what sound breathing derives from. So thunder breathing has six forms. The most notable user to us is obviously Zenitsu. It actually has three users, which is Zenitsu, his grandfather, and the other student. We kind of see bullying him in the show. I can't remember his name now, but he actually becomes the new upper six after the entertainment district arc. So yeah. But um, yeah, there's six forms. We know obviously Thunderclap and Flash, which is the most notable. And there is three different versions of it. There is, well, no, technically there's not, but Zenitsu has learned Thunderclap and Flash so well, and he's perfected it to the point where he can, he has three different variants. He has a six speed, an eight speed, and a God speed version of it. And now Godspeed is obviously the strongest and it's the one we see him use during the Entertainment District arc. And an unconscious Zenitsu actually says that if he uses the ability more than two times in his current state, he would, no he would lose the ability to walk because how it works is you utilize all of your energy into your muscles and the muscles in your legs, sorry, the muscles in your legs. And he, so actually it's quite interesting. In one of the later on fights, which we will see eventually, Zenitsu creates the seventh form, which is actually called Thunder God. This is accompanied by a thunder dragon, or at least what looks like thunder dragon, because if you don't know, I can't remember if I've said it already, the actual breathing styles do not create anything there. They're only for show for us. How forever, how forever, now forever, thunder breathing actually does the closest by the breather when they're in their stance they they vibrate the air around them and it makes it sound like their footsteps are actually thunder so that's that's probably the closest one to actually having something realize now we're going to move on to thunder breathing's derivative which is sound breathing sound breathing has five forms and it is utilized by uzui tingen now sound breathing works basically off of speed and so what it works is you create loud sounds and they're made to, they're basically purposely disorienting sounds. It's not just loud, it's destructive and disorienting so that you can distract the demon. And this is why he also uses the grenades alongside them and flashbangs and specially devised explosives to distract demons. The way he runs after it is actually meant to replicate the sound of an, an explosion going off and that's why during that those explosions when the demons are distracted and they don't hear him running because his steps recreate the sound of an explosion that's actually when he goes in for the final strike it is actually said that up until the entertainment district deck that it only ever took one strike to take down a demon upper moon six well the former upper moon six now is actually the only demon to survive 
more than one hit from Tingen. So that's, that's quite interesting. Yeah. Okay, so we're talking about wind breathing now. It has seven forms, two users. Well, we see Sonomi as one user, but the other user we don't actually see use wind breathing. So it has seven forms and it is actually the only breathing style to create its element so the rest of them i'm pretty sure i already mentioned it but they're they don't actually create it they're just for show for us to understand what's going on except for thunder breathing has the thunder steps but it doesn't actually have lightning with it but wind breathing actually creates wind one of sonomi's attacks is to jump into the air and do a slice down which actually ends up creating gale force winds so it does actually create the wind unlike the rest of them there's also, if you can't tell by Sonomi's body being like 50% scarce, wind breathing is a 100% offensive breathing style with zero defense. Uh, he has actually managed to make it defensive, but this is due to his own ability. What he does is he'll match exactly the person's strength and uh, attacking ability of the person who's attacking him. And this cancels out the attack. He's not actually defending himself. And we, we actually see him in, we'll see him in future fights, taking massive amounts of damage, getting covered in scars, while also dealing massive amounts of damage. And this is solely due to the fact that he has no defense. Uh, so let's talk about the two derivatives of wind style, which are mist and beast breathing. Uh, I'll get into beast breathing in a minute. I'll start off with mist. Mist has six forms, but the wind, hash, or the mist Hashira, Michiru, Michiro, Michiro, has actually created a seventh form himself. Uh, Mist breathing works off of speed, and the seventh form utilizes this, and he is actually really fast. Now, if anyone doesn't know, Michiro is, he became a Hashira after two months of training. Two months, that's it. He is incredibly fast, and he is basically the ideal candidate for Mist breathing. So how it works is that you run around super fast, He's pretty much the only person who can do this uh, currently. Uh, but he, you run around at super high speeds, disorientating the person, losing and they, causing them to lose sight of you. Basically like you're in a cloud of mist, which is, which is, he utilized it. We see Michiro utilize this against upper moon five side. So I'm worried about the words because I don't want to spoil anything, but yeah. Basically, it works completely off of speed. It has six, but he has seven forms because he created his own. Like Zenitsu created a seventh form for Thunder Breathing. I'm realizing a lot of these Hashras either created the form or created a special move just for themselves. Interesting. <laughs> okay. And we'll move on to Beast Breathing because I don't know what else I can say about Mist Breathing. So Beast Breathing originally has ten forms. Obviously, this is actually a form completely created by Inosuke and self-taught. He created the breathing style after coming across a demon slayer in the woods. The demon slayer mistaked him for a demon. Ironically, he kicked the guy's ass. He beat, the, he beat a trained fighter up and took his sword and then taught himself how to, how to fight. He created his own breathing style, which I think is absolutely hilarious. Can you imagine being a trained fighter coming across a guy with a pig's head on thinking he's a demon and getting your ass kicked uh, but basically how beast style works is that you utilize the wildness and un unpredictability of wild animals to in his attacks and i think probably the most broken form is actually his seventh form we see him use his seventh form during his spider first arc we see when he sticks the two swords in the ground and he sticks his arms out, uh, he is completely using his sound and touch and awareness, animals awareness of their surroundings. And you see him do, it's basically echolocation. Which, and he can tell where all the demons in the forest are in one go, like that. And it's actually later on in a fight, he creates an 11 form on the fly. So once again, we see why he should be hot, like why <laughs> Tanjo, Zenitsu and... Inosuke, they've all done what Hashira have done, which is absolutely ridiculous considering. But yeah, no, it's, yeah, he created his, he not only created his own style, but just randomly in a fight, he, he became necessary for an extra form and he just made it. So yeah, there you go. That's some interesting information about the Demon Slayer forms, the 14 different breathing layer styles.
yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you'll come back next week for another one